I'd like to introduce you to Timmy. Timmy's a noob when it comes to electrics in Rust and is always getting himself killed by his own electrical items. Today, I'm gonna show all the Timmys out there how to use elevators in the basic way and in an advanced way. As you can see, here I have three floors. Each floor has a button, there's a battery, two splitters. The battery's being fed by the windmill and then the battery passes power to the splitters which will go to each button and the elevator. You will need to craft an elevator for each floor and they cost three high qual, 200 metal frags and one metal gear per shaft. To start things off, place one shaft at the bottom. Each elevator will have a cool elevator power toggle on each far corner. If you look up, you will also see that the motor has a power toggle, but when you stack other elevators on top, this will move to the top floor. So make sure you can get up to it to power it. I'm now gonna put power into this button and then into the cool elevator. Then stack your other elevators on top of it. Now you need to take power up to the top floor into the motor of the elevator. While up here, wire your button into the cool elevator and then take the power input down to one of your splitter ends. Now obviously do the same for the middle floor. Take the power in and then take the power output into the cool elevator. And voila, you have a working elevator. But this isn't good enough. We can actually make this whole elevator system remote controlled. Now I've done this by putting a frequency receiver on each floor. The top floor's frequency is two for floor two. The middle floor's frequency is one for floor one. And the ground floor is zero for ground, uh, for zero. Using the transmitter, you then set the frequency and you send the elevator to the floor you want. Now you know exactly how elevators work and how to use them in an advanced way. I hope all the Timmys out there were helped by this tutorial. Speaking of Timmys, Timmy wanted to say goodbye and congratulations. And while we does that, I'd like to ask you if this content helped you or you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribing. Also check out the video at the end here to learn how to turn electrical lasers invisible. Until the next one, peace.